G'day, Daniel Bower here from CropSmart. We're seeding here on the Air Peninsula. It's ranging from anything from just started, halfway through to completely finished. It's been a very dry start, so fingers crossed there's a rain around the corner. Now one of the main phone calls I get during seeding is from farmers asking what order to mix the chemicals in their boom spray. So today I just want to show you a typical mixing order pattern and it might be something that you can refer back to if you're ever in doubt. Okay, the first thing we want to do is make sure we've got our boom spray 70% full of water and we've got that water agitating. First thing we're going to add to our boom spray is our water conditioners such as ammonium sulfate or Smart 700 spray. Now this is going to get our water in a really good quality so that we can start add, adding the other chemicals. So the first chemicals you want to put in your boom spray is your wettable powders and your granules such as Smart Metribuzin here. Now you want to give your boom spray about 10 minutes to agitate these products and we get complete dispersion throughout the boom spray and then we can move on to the other chemicals. So the sequence for the rest of the chemicals go suspension concentrates such as smart diflufenicin, emulsifiable concentrates such as trifluralin or smart triclopur, water soluble concentrates such as our fully loaded product here 517 or paraquat and then your surfactants and oils. Now if you've got any soluble fertiliser, such as UAN, put that in last, top it up with water and give it a good agitation. The main thing you want to keep in mind when you're mixing your, your chemicals in your boom spray is really just when you're putting your granules in and your wettable powders, give it a good time to agitate just to make sure that all those, uh, those chemicals are completely dispersed throughout the boom spray. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give your local CropSmart store a call today.